Decred is fork resistant by design, which means that only one chain will ever exist and every upgrade will have to pass a vote before being implemented on the network. Where an upgrade is not approved, it will be rejected, never to be activated on the chain, bringing a resolution to the process. The ultimate goal for a fork resistant blockchain is for everyone to be running the same version of the software with the same rule set with no contentious hard forks, no inflation of the coin supply and ultimately the process should keep the community together. This enforces the philosophy of what you signed up for is what you get. This functionality has been possible in the Decred ecosystem due to the foresight to build out a governance system from the beginning with this as one of the intended goals. A little bit of history. The first Decred team, Company Zero, started its development life by building out a full node implementation of Bitcoin written in the Go language. Their mission was to make Bitcoin stronger by having an alternative to the Bitcoin core software, which was written in C++. This would have been useful to keep the network running in worst case scenarios, but due to resistance from the core development team, this implementation struggled to gain adoption. Due to this, Company Zero decided to take their developments and start a new project. And because they had witnessed firsthand the destructive nature of a centralized development system, they decided that their new project would have to include a government system that would dilute this power over time. In 2016, formal governance in the blockchain space wasn't a thing. But the Decred team knew that there were problems down the road for any system that doesn't have an effective way of resolving contentious issues. A year after the Decred chain started and was already building out its governance system, the Bitcoin block size debate was raging, which of course ended up with Bitcoin being split into two communities, diluting the security of both projects and inflating the coin supply. Rather than using the hash power of the miners to decide the dominant chain from a hard fork, Decred decided to systemize the upgrade process, effectively putting the final decision in the hands of the coin holder. So how does Decred's consensus upgrade process work? Firstly, the upgrade is processed and voted on using Politea. If the proposal passes, the treasury will fund the development and work begins. Once the upgrade has been developed, it then goes through a rigorous testing and review period. Once the testing stage is complete, the new version needs to be installed on the proof of work miners and proof of stake voters software in a dormant state. Each of these has a different threshold to meet before the upgrade is considered complete. The proof of work upgrade is considered complete once 95% of the latest 1000 blocks are mined with the latest version. The proof of stake upgrade is considered complete once 75% of the block votes are received and have been cast using the latest version. Once both of these thresholds have been met, the vote is scheduled to begin on the first block in the next rule change interval, the RCI. The RCI occurs every 8064 blocks, which is approximately four weeks. The voting process lasts for the same period of time, which means that over 40,000 tickets will get called to vote on the consensus change. Consensus voting in the ticket by default is set to abstain. This is to prevent any option from having an unfair advantage from apathetic users. Also, to give the vote more validity, every vote has to have a quorum requirement of 10%. This means that at least 10% of all votes must be non-abstaining for the result to be considered valid. Once this target has been reached, the next target is for at least 75% of these votes to be yes. If either of these two targets aren't met, the agenda expires and the consensus changes will never be activated. There is also a period of time after voting called the lock-in period. This also lasts for 8,064 blocks or four weeks. During this period, all participants in the Decred network must upgrade their software to the latest version. All four nodes participating in the network will automatically activate the new rules on the first block after this period. So any node still running the old software will no longer be able to participate in the Decred network. Because this process has been systemized, it gives all participants an opportunity to do their own due diligence, discussing, testing, upgrading, and anything else that might be needed to give these changes their full consideration. 
But in the end, it also gives the whole process a time frame to be completed in, which means the process won't continue to rumble on long into the future with no clear conclusion. Another desired consequence is, it doesn't matter how loud someone shouts, in the end it's the coin holders that have the last say. As a final thought, understand that no governance system is perfect and there will always be disagreements and conflicts, but I do believe that Decred's systemized approach to upgrades is currently the fairest and most sustainable system I've witnessed. Decred continues to be leaps and bounds ahead of the field in terms of true innovation, and under these conditions, I see this continuing long into the future. <laughs>